All right, guys, we got the SC10E here. Uh, this is the Red Cat short course truck. I uh, left off with it last about 80 miles an hour, then I strapped the tires and went down about 70 some. So now I went up two teeth and I'm running some GRPs. So these aren't going to balloon at all. They're very slick, so uh, they lose traction easy. I did find that out the hard way the uh, last time I tried to run this. But uh, we're ready to roll. Going to uh, see if we can't break 80 with this setup right now. I think I got it all. One more, one more for good luck. Can't hit any shit like this, man. I'll tell you, there's, this stuff is still raw development, man. And this thing, I can see a couple of them down there. I gotta be very careful. And there's some smaller ones too, but that's gonna ruin my day right there if I hit one of them. Last pass. Just hit one of them little stones down there. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got. Where are we at here? Ah, come on. Gotta have more than 63. That don't make any sense. Unless my battery's, uh... All right, we're gonna... I want to reset this once. Like I said, I was at 70 some with my JC. Now they were 2.8, so they were a little bit taller, uh, but the 2.8 G locks. So I wasn't expecting 10 miles per hour drop by going to GRPs. Plus, I went up on the pinion. So now the question is am I drawing too many amps um, with that bigger tooth pinion on that 150? Because again, we are we are on the stock Red Cat motor. I mean, maybe I'm pushing past the Red Cat motor. It just ain't got no more uh, voltage-wise to give. Um, it's very possible that it's just I, I you know I'm over gearing. Where if I actually drop the two teeth back down, I'll probably be back in the 70s. Uh, but again, I you know I've seen that once before, and it usually means I'm at the end of the motor. But uh, one more pass just for fun. That was it. That was one of them little stones. You see that? Holy hell. Oh, man. It all, I, I'm glad I set that thing down. What was that? 52 it lifted up on me. And I was able to set it down. Woohoo! Alright, let's try to avoid that little stone. I can't even control this thing right now. It's all over the road. Woohoo! Still not all the way down. I chickened out right there. Started hitting that curb. <laughs> I started heading right for it. Alright, I got all of it right near the end. Let's see. That's about all I'm gonna get. This thing's all over, man. These GRPs are just so, so slick. 65, so again, I got all of it right as, I don't know if you can see the, where the asphalt changes a little bit there. About 15 feet in on that, I felt like I got all of it, but then I had to start slowing down. So it wasn't able to peak or sit at the top with the trigger all the way down yet. I know I can climb. Like I said, with a higher tooth pinion gear, uh, it takes a little bit of time to get up to speed, you know. So again, that's the only thing I can think of. I should be definitely in the 70s right now. I'm not, but um, I'm not going to push this right now because I don't want to burn the motor up. I think I'm going to experiment with it and go down two teeth 
and see if that brings the speed back up and then I'll know I was at the end of the motor uh, which you know 70 some or 80 some with the, what we saw on it uh, with ballooning tires it's not bad for a stock red cap motor man I mean that, that little motor's been a beast for me so I'm very happy with the setup um, you know it, it, it's just you know I might I might have been I might be tapped out on what I can do so we'll find out 65.04 I've been faster with this truck um, I think I got 70 in it right about now which uh, I feel I should be higher than that too so again guys uh, sorry you know nothing more exciting other than my almost flip right there but uh, 65 is where we're at for today so I'll bring it back out one more time and see if we can't you know figure out exactly what's going on and like I said if I drop down two teeth and get that back then I'll know exactly what it is so I right, appreciate it, guys thanks for watching